Welcome back. All right, news of the day video for all you fine people on the internet for your Saturday, September the 14th. Uh, and rookies are generating a lot of buzz right now because rookie camps, rookie tournaments, and all that fun stuff, including Matt Bay Michkov. So Michkov, a lot of hype around him. Uh, yesterday showed the skill level, and it's kind of hard not to get excited if you're a Flyers fan right now. Uh, he was impressive, scored in his debut in the rookie tournament. We'll see what he does the rest of the way. And of course, the 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 real trick here is for the rookies to get their their game in and get into the swing of things, and then the veterans come in and then things get a little more difficult. So standing out in these tournaments can be a good lead for these players going into what's regular training camp and then preseason. Uh, but Michkov is expected to be a prime guy for the Philadelphia Flyers. Things look good so far. Um, and I, I know how early it is. I know absolutely how early it is. But hey, hype's fun. Uh, Evander Kane is scheduled for sports hernia surgery over the next 7 to 10 days. Uh, the Oilers will then evaluate how long he has to be out. The Oilers, remember, with their salary cap issues and everything, uh, in the event they can put Evander Kane onto LTIR, that does help. Uh, and then it's a matter of how long Kane's going to be on LTIR should he end up there, which is very, very likely. Uh, and then, of course, depending on the return time, uh, that may very well give the Oilers an idea of how long they have to potentially clear up some, some cap issues here and there. But, uh, yeah, so Evander Kane's going to be going under the knife in the next 10 days, and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, Jacob Pelche signs a one-year, two-way deal with the Calgary Flames. I wasn't able to locate the amount of money that it is at the AHL level. It's $800,000 at the NHL level. Uh, the expectations for Pelche seem to be higher a couple years ago than they are right now, so he doesn't really have any pressure. The Calgary Flames definitely have uh, an opening there for skilled forwards, so if he has a really strong preseason, who knows? He may end up in a, in, in a more prominent role, but again, it's a two-way deal, so he can be sent down to the Wranglers, and we'll see what happens there. So Utah, according to Craig Morgan's reporting, uh, the former Arizona Coyotes, now Utah Hockey Club, have reached an impasse with Victor Soderstrom, a former first-round draft pick, and not finding the kind of interest for a trade for Soderstrom that they would want. Uh, he is likely to sign in Europe. It looks like it's going to be Sweden or Switzerland he's going to sign with. Uh, Soderstrom has had a hard time uh, finding his way in the National Hockey League to this point. And it definitely sounds like he's going to be spending at least the next season in Europe. If he plays well, that would increase his stock. And then Utah would be able to, to make a move or maybe he comes back and re-signs for the money he's looking for. But at this point in time, it doesn't look like that's going to happen with Utah. Uh, Macklin Celebrini, so back into hype territory here. Uh, he scored in the 3-2 to two win against Utah in El Segundo, California. So... Utah playing their first game as a team, and it's the rookie tournament, of course, and uh, San Jose coming out of that one with a win. Uh, so we'll see if Celebrini, again, much like Michkov, the expectation is he's going to have a really good rookie season. You never know until that season gets started. But again, uh, showing well in these rookie tournaments can give you that leg up as you get into the regular training camp side of things this coming week. And um, I would imagine there'll be even more tryouts being announced over the next few days. And uh, yeah, it's up to the rookies to make sure that those veterans don't get those jobs and that they push their way into the lineup. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks, impressed with LeCaramacchi. There's been a lot of discussion about uh, Willinder, LeCaramacchi being the top two prospects for the Vancouver Canucks. And a question being asked that I saw yesterday was, so should they look to move one of these guys in the event that they can improve the team uh, as we approach trade deadline. And Canuck fans seem to be of the mind that no was the answer. But like Aramaki, he's apparently been impressive so far in rookie camp. He's a former first-round draft pick for the Vancouver Canucks. And they've brought him along slowly. I'd be very disappointed if he doesn't actually come up and play for the Vancouver Canucks this season at some stage. Uh, at least get him in the lineup. I'd, I'd be very disappointed if he ended up being moved for, for a veteran or you know, to help some other part of the lineup. So, yeah, uh, we'll see if LeCaramacchi forces his way into the conversation for the lineup at, in October, or if he ends up being a really good option down here in Abbotsford. Uh, the New Jersey Devils with a huge rookie victory yesterday over the Sens. The Sens just lost to Pittsburgh this morning again. So, Ottawa losing 9-1 to against the New Jersey Devils rookies. Uh, that's a tough one. 
Uh, for So for the Ottawa goaltenders, apologies. Apparently defense in front of them wasn't uh, where you'd want it to be. But again, it's a rookie showcase, so these things can happen. And uh, it is still a matter of how many of these rookies that are playing in these tournaments this weekend are going to actually break camp with the team uh, that they represent. In all likelihood, it's it just shows the team where their rookies are at and, and what they need to work on in their development. So it's a fun time of year, uh, and most of these tournaments are available either through YouTube or through the team's websites. So if you want to watch them, you can. Uh, it doesn't have the production value that you're going to see during a regular season game, but it's it's still it's hockey if you want to watch it. Um, I'm not watching and reviewing the rookie games. I, I generally don't do that. Uh, once we get into the regular part of the, the, the meat of the preseason next weekend, then I start getting into it a little bit more. And you might see a review or two at that time, depending on what I'm able to see on my TV and uh, and what makes sense for my schedule. So thank you guys so much for all your support as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How excited are you if you're a Flyers fan about Michkov? How excited are you as a Sharks fan about Celebrini? Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.